Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Anyone who was watching Young and Restless when Joshua Morrow debuted as Nick three decades ago had to have felt a sense of deja vu when his son, Crew Morrow, turned up on Thursday's Bold and Beautiful. The saying goes, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The only female character on the canvas that is somewhat appropriate for Will's age is his newly introduced half-sister. However, things could change if, as is becoming increasingly clear, Bill isn't actually Luna's dad. At the same time, Will's comeback was almost comical. It seems like neither Poppy nor Luna searched up Will on Google or even looked at the images of him, lying around the home, and Romy Park's terrifying scream just proves it. For weeks, Bill and Katie have been mentioning that they needed to decide how to break the news to Will about Poppy and Luna. It became apparent during Will and Katie's talk that they hadn't bothered to tell Will, but his dad didn't have any roommates. Bill also had plenty of time to familiarize his new relatives with Will's appearance so that they wouldn't freak out in shock when he arrived home. But Katie was far too busy reviewing the whole, Poppy drugged her own daughter Fiasco. I thought we'd gotten beyond the special mints nonsense by now, but it seems like Katie is doubling down on it, pretending as if Poppy had Luna cracking lines off RJ's abs. At one point, Bill's ex literally declared, he moved a drug addict into the house. And what was with Katie claiming she didn't know if Poppy was a free spirit, hopping from concert to concert, or if you're really a manipulative murderer? Are those really your only choices? Please that simply end the accusations that Poppy is and always has been greedy, because that makes absolutely no sense. She and Luna lived a low-rent existence and Poppy could have reached out to Bill at any moment over the years if she'd wanted to grab a rich chap. Not for nothing, Katie, but you were virtually a girl from the wrong side of the tracks when you hooked up with Bill, an older, rich man. Does that make you a gold digger? Hashtag asking for a friend why was Zend in charge of capturing images of Brooke's modeling session and working with a social media team. Doesn't it sound like something RJ, whom we've been repeatedly informed spent the past few years capturing images and using social media as an influencer would have been more suited for, and why, precisely, was Finn there to see the lady his wife detests strut her stuff in lingery? Sure, Steffi being there made reasonable, given that, opposed to the campaign or not, she's co-CEO. But it seemed as if the entire reason for Finn's presence was so that Brooke could once again admonish her daughter about making gooey eyes at Steffi's spouse. Maybe Finn was hanging out at Forrester since the show only has one hospital office set, and his mom was using it that day, and all for Brooke encouraging women by proving that age is only a number, Although I sort of wish that she was supported by other models, maybe of various shapes, sizes and ages. Imagine what a tremendous message it would convey, both in the fictional fashion world of bold and beautiful, and to the show's very real audience. Without even meaning to, I think Ridge came up with the right motto for the campaign. While looking at his true love, he nicknamed her, Forever Sexy, Forever Wonderful, Forever Brooke, I mean, how fantastic an ad campaign would that be? As for the footage filmed on location, it was, of course, magnificent. But it's also rather pointless. Shouldn't a huge, splashy location shoot involve some kind of drama sometimes? The writers simply can't help themselves. Why let something be a surprise when they can reveal the story point in advance? That's exactly what they did where the backpack full of letters was concerned. Of course, they had to have Shyla mention the lost backpack and its potential link to the perpetrator shortly before Luna discovered the oh-so-incriminating letters. Upon finding the backpack, it took Luna roughly 12 seconds to move from, wait, is this dude my dad? To wait, did you kill this dude who claimed to be my dad? So much for that unshakable mother-slash-daughter tie they've purportedly enjoyed all these years. It amuses me, in a funny way, but the program is going out of its way not to imply that Poppy slept with Bill and Tom within, best case scenario, a day or two of one another. 
But like everything else with this tale, it's all being made up as they go along, with little to no care about continuity. The bold and the beautiful spoilers hint that Will Spencer's arrival will give Katie Logan an alley in more ways than one. It's plain to tell that Will's still cheering for his parents' reunion on some level. And deep down, Two. Katie, Katie may rejected that. down Bill Spencer's repeated attempts to get back together, but things are different now that he's moving on with someone else. That's especially true considering Katie doesn't trust the new woman in Bill's life at all. Katie doesn't approve of Bill's romance with Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, so that's something she can agree with Will on. Will Katie and Will combine up to find out the real truth surrounding Poppy and everything else she's hiding. That's a problem that was addressed in Heather Tom's joint interview with Crew Morrow on CBS 4 News Miami. When asked about the likelihood of Katie and Will joining forces against Poppy, Tom intimated that Will will indeed be in his mom's corner on this. He takes after his mother, Tom conceded. He's definitely going to want to investigate things, and he might not be great at keeping secrets. As for Crew Morrow, he stated Will's support for Katie will always come first. Although Will loves Bill as well, their connection is difficult and certainly can't compete with the affection he has for Katie. I think at the end of the day, I'm a big old mama's boy. Morrow said with a smile. Of course, it's hard to miss just how much the cute and personable Morrow resembles his famous father, Joshua Morrow, Nick Newman on The Young and the Restless. Heather Tom, who formerly portrayed Victoria Newman on Why and Ah, observed that it was a crazy full-circle experience having the younger Morrow join the show as she had played siblings with Joshua Morrow's Nick in Gino City. Tom also remarked about being a proud mama right out of the gate since Crew Morrow's been such a terrific addition to B and B. Our predictions imply that Will's return will bring plenty of dramatic material and could lead to additional issues for Poppy, so don't miss all the excitement. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest Morrow will have even more chances to prove he has star power as Will's plot continues along, so remain with us for updates on all the shockers. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest that Katie Logan is way too wound up over Poppy Nozawa for someone with a sick heart and a history of nearly dying from it. Katie is a strong woman who has such a robust exterior that we all forget about her medical past. Is Bill Spencer's ex-wife pushing herself too far? Here's what's coming up next on Bold and Beautiful. Spoilers ahead. Katie Logan has worked herself up into a tizzy attempting to show that Poppy Nozawa murdered Tom Starr. If we're being honest, Poppy probably isn't even a killer, and is merely guilty of sleeping with two men at one festival over 20 years ago. But Katie is on a mission. After a fierce disagreement with Poppy on the bold and the beautiful, Katie marched back over to her sister's office to have another argument with Lee Finnegan. The stress is known to be healthy for Katie, who has a significant history of cardiac problems and at one point was on her deathbed. Stress and drama appear to flare up Katie's medical problems, and she's in over her head. According to the bold and the beautiful rumor mill, Katie is approximately one more disagreement away from suffering from some sort of cardiac episode and finding herself in the hospital. Of course, we can't leave out the fact that a lot of bold and beautiful watchers think Lee Finnegan may be the Il Giardino killer. The good doctor can easily find out about Katie Logan's heart history and slip her a medicine that could stop her ticker. There's no indication the Heather Tom is leaving B and B, so if Katie does land in the hospital, it doesn't look to be deadly. Do you believe that Katie Logan is going to collapse soon? Is she barking up the wrong tree? Do you think Poppy Nozawa is the killer? Let us know what you think in the comments below and keep checking back here on Celebrating the Soaps for more B&B spoilers and updates. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the bold and the beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.